Welcome back everybody. Well, it's time to put some structure in the pond for some fish. We're ready to get this thing stocked. I've got a test kit coming next week that I'm gonna check the water, sort of the pH levels. I'm no pond expert, but I'm gonna check and see what the parameters of the pond are before we put the fish in it. But we're gonna build some structure and then we'll check the water when that kit comes in. And then one other project I've got to work on is I've got a little different style overflow here which controls the pond level, but I don't know if this is the right kind of overflow to put in, but it, it works out fine. But obviously the top of my overflow controls the water level, but when it really rains, I'll have six inches of water going over this. So what I'm gonna have to do is build me a fence essentially out here somewhere and raise it, you know, 12 inches 18 inches above the water level that way if it does we do get one of those hard rains and that water gets up it'll keep my fish from going over the overflow under the driveway and down into the drainage ditch i have some leftover tile that we took out that was the old tile under the driveway so i'm going to use that and then we've got some more tile drainage pipe that we were using scrap pieces and so we're going to try to come up with some kind of structure to put in the pond. We've never built pond structure before, but we're gonna give it an attempt. So it's raining today, so it'll be a good project to work on inside. One other thing, I'll give you a little update on the pond. Probably a month ago, I used the products made by Shalex. It's referred to as Damn It. It is a polymer material that you spread in a pond on the surface level to help with stopping leaks. Once I spread that, the pond filled back up and the water level has stayed consistent. We, we had probably a two week span there to where it stayed dry. So I think I've, I've got the, the pond is sealed, but I keep a wet spot. You can see standing water right here. It stays wet right in this little section where water's coming out of the ground. I had a comment when I made that video about sealing the pond and he said, you know, you may not have a leak in your pond. You might just have a, a seep. So I'm, I'm thinking that I agree with him. Before I built this pond, this was just a little drainage ditch coming down through here, but it kept like a small trickle of water in it. So water's coming out of the ground up there somewhere. And even when I was backfilling this, it stayed wet. And I thought I'd found the source. So I actually tiled that water into the pond and it ran for probably a week, just a trickle of water, but it's dried up. So I think I've got some groundwater that's working its way around this pond and it's easier path is to come this way versus trying to push itself into this pond with the pressure that it has. So I'm gonna call it good. I may end up putting a little tile down there to catch that groundwater to just divert it over into the ditch, but I'm tired of trying to figure it out. Who knows with water? You just, I mean, it'll leak one place and come out another and it's just hard to track. So we're gonna call it good. Let's build some structure and put in this pond. for not buying couplings to put this stuff together, but I'd have to have several go around through here and I didn't want to spend another hundred dollars on couplings. I'm just gonna splice my pipe there and then I'll splice it together like this, shoot screws in it and that are tied together. But this first one I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build them like a dome. So I'll come here and then go across and probably loop two or three across it and sort of build a dome. So. We'll see. Now I'm gonna have to have some form or fashion to weight this thing down in the pond or it'll just float the top on me most likely. So what I'm gonna do, since this is my base, I'm gonna actually pour some concrete in this and then when it gets down in the pond, that'll be enough to weight it down and that'll sort of hold my base together. So 
I'm gonna probably put 20 pound of concrete in the base of it. Hopefully that'll hold us down and keep it from sinking. I'm going to basically build me a dome, which obviously I'll cut a band piece longer, but it's going to lap this way, and it'll lap this way, and then I'll come in and crisscross it. And we'll see if we can build them something to hide behind. Listen, can I give you Yeah. I just want to say what a privilege and honor it is that my husband allowed me to be in this YouTube video. You're welcome, sweet baby. All right, mother, come right here. How high do you all think it needs to be? What are we Let doing? it come down just a little. What are we doing? We're building a, a, basically a fort for fish underneath the water. How do you all think it's... that's, I mean, we don't want it too big. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's good. You think, because what we're going to do is that, then we'll come across here, then we'll come across that way underneath the bottom of it. That'll be pretty good. Cool. All right. Can you test it out? You can test it out here a minute. Get, get in it. See if you can swim through the holes. So I need you to stand behind the saw while I rip this. Okay, there's our dome. That ought to give them fish a place to get in there and hide and hang out around. I'll tell you one thing I'll probably do where I wired the center together. I'll probably rig me up some kind of floater that'll come up and float to the top of the water with a little bit of slack that way if the water raises. That way we can always sort of have an idea of where it's at. So I may get a duck decoy or something and let it float above it. That way we'll know where it's at. So let's move on to something else. All right, next up, I'm gonna build me some little bushes. So basically I had a piece of 12 inch culvert that I'd messed up on down in the bottom. So I've just took some four inch corrugated pipe, and made me some palm trees out of them. So the only concern I've got is, you know, are these gonna float back up? But I may stick one in the water down there and see if they're gonna float. If they are, I may come out here and add me a little weight on the end of them. But Essentially, all I've done is cut me about a nine inch slit in the bottom to where I can slip it down over that uh, culvert pipe and then I've just ripped these into four pieces so it kind of gives me some cover. But I will just screw a bottom on these and then I'll pour me a little concrete in the bottom and that should weigh them down. I'll drill me two holes in the side that way I can loop a rope through them and then I can make sure when I set them down on the bottom they'll set up right and then I can just pull my rope back out. But Let's build us four or five of these and then we'll move on to something else. The bushes are complete other than putting the bottom in here and pouring some concrete in here so we can hold them in place. The next on the agenda, let's take some 24 inch culvert and build us a pyramid. 
I will say this, the one reason I'm using all this plastic instead of putting, like some people put cedar trees and time together and use natural stuff for their structure. But what I'm hoping is this stuff will hold up and won't decay on me. And everything's so flimsy. I'm hoping if you're fishing and you get down in here, it won't be as easy to get hung up on this stuff as like a cedar tree or something like that laying down in the bottom of the pond. So that's the reason I'm using plastic and not the natural stuff. take and drill two holes through the ends and I'll put a piece of all thread through there and bolt them together. That way when I slide them down off in there, them screws don't pull out. I just put them screws in there to tack it. But I'll put me some concrete in the bottom of both of these and then that way it'll set on the bottom nicely. But I already give them a little shade, a little place to hide. So on to the next one. All right, last on the agenda, I'm gonna try to simulate a tree laying at the bottom of the pond. So I have a piece of 12 inch culvert that I've screwed two pieces together and then I've got some four and six inch corrugated pipe. So I'm gonna just screw me some limbs to it. I'll stick some straight up and down and that way it ought to give plenty of places for cover and then if they won't go up in the pipe, they can do that as well. So let's see if we can figure this one out. I'm just sort of planning as I go. keep going we'll have us a tree here in a minute well the fish playground is about complete we've got our four little makeshift shrub bushes that's my version of a tree then we've got the fish dome and the pyramid. So I've already got some natural vegetation down in the pond. So hopefully combined with this, with what we've already got, that'll give our bait fish a good place to hide and then it'll give the bigger fish obviously some structure to hang around. So next time I see you, hopefully we'll get this stuff put in the pond. The only thing I like is getting some concrete put in the bottom of this stuff to weight it down. And then we'll have to build our little fence in front of the overflow to keep our fish from washing out. But hopefully we'll get this stuff put in. Maybe we can get some uh, fish put in here in the next two or three weeks. So if you watched, I appreciate it. Until the next time, we'll see you later.